you can see the default python is 352 so now i'll show you how to install another version of python so for that you can go to python's official site download this package so i downloaded 3611 and i kept it in this folder so first we'll extract it and i'll go to that folder and inside there will be a readme file so you can see the commands to install it once you execute all these commands python will get installed in your machine so first you need to execute dot slash configure I'll pause the video because it will take a while for completing it. Then you can uh, execute make test. Now the next command is uh, sudo make install, which will install the python in the machine yeah installation has been completed now to check the python version what we can do python 3.6 if i give this it will be going inside python 3.6.11 which i download and install now you can see the date but if i give default python still it is going to python 2.7 and if i give python 3 yeah now it is going to 3.6.11 now if you want to see the installation location so what you can do which python 3.6 or if I give python 3 it will be showing the installed folder now instead of installing all the packages in base machines python what we can do we can have a virtual environment and there we will create all the environments needed for atom development so in that way we don't have to break the python package of base machine yeah i'll go back to atom demo and in this folder i'm going to create a virtual environment so the command is virtual environment hyphen p python 3.6 so it will it will take this python and it will create a virtual environment and i'll give the name atom underscore p 3.6 so once i execute it you can see it has created a folder here with same name and now to go inside this virtual environment what i need to do source inside that folder bin activate now if i just give python it will be going inside 3611 and any changes i make to this python it will be it is going to impact only this folder it won't impact on my base machines python that is the advantage of using virtual environment so i'll come out of this and we'll verify the packages I'll give the command pip list and if I give deactivate come out and if I give pip list here yeah this is going to be different packages and this is going to be different list of packages so I'll go back to my 
virtual environment and if I want to make that as my uh, script uh, location so what I can do I'll go to atom here first we'll do the testing here so you can see I already set up the folder here so let me just run it so you can see it is showing 3.6.11 which I installed recently so in that way even here there is a python 3.6 code what I'll do I'll, I'll give the same location there as well Yeah. you can see it is printing the show running output in my terminal I'll close all this now let's uh, check how to do how to use the parameter library so you can see in the pip list uh, I don't have parameter library in the virtual environment So now let me try running it from this location, my virtual environment location. So you can see module name not found. So what I need to do, I'll install parameter here, pip install parameco. Now this is installing parameco in the virtual environment now if i give the list so you can see it has installed all the packages but if i deactivate and see the pip list that will be still default one so i'll go back to my virtual environment okay i'll close this let me try running it again alt x So you can see using parameter library this has been printed uh, show on output now there are some more scripts uh, or oh, this script will create loopback interfaces let's verify that alt text so it will give the first loopback range what it will do the range of interfaces it will create in the device so using this command interface loopback the numbers the string numbers what I give in that range it will create so I'll create from 1 to 5 Yeah, you can see it has created five loopback interfaces now to remove this what we need to do I'll give no here let me run it again one to five now it will remove the loopback interfaces yeah you can see it has removed all the loopback interfaces using same script only by changing the single line so this is how you can use script runner there is another package called script I'll show how to use that that is widely used by developers while writing the Python code they will write it and they'll validate it using that for installing script go to preferences then go to install then give the name script so you can see this run code in atom we we'll click on install 
yeah this is installed so we'll go inside script to see the keyboard shortcuts so this supports with this many languages so to run the script the command is uh, shift control b and for script run options uh, shift control alt o so let's run one script yeah yeah python version check uh, we'll run this script control shift b so you can see this is how you need to run scripts uh, package so once you install it it will print the version and here we have some more options like control shift alt b you will get option to select profile so for creating profile control shift alt o and you can give the command directory and once you give the command directory it will run python from that directory and the version what it uses it will fetch that version and execute and that way you can utilize different environments for running so once you do that uh, the the profile what you create will list down here and you will be able to run from any version of python i prefer to use script runner instead of script because uh, in my most of the scripts there will be a terminal input is needed because we have to give some commands for executing or getting output and we just want to see it in the proper terminal so you so far it works fine for me uh, you folks also can give it a try i hope uh, this video was helpful thanks for watching see you in the next video